Now, I know what you're going to be wondering. Who is it? Who is Dylan's new love interest? Normally, I would say Dylan's not in drum roll, but for but he's not here, and he, <laughs> he doesn't have a drum set. So, yeah. Bummer. But, while I was kind of looking for a new love interest, for um, Dylan, King Ghidorah 2003, he suggested... He suggested that Dylan should fall in love with a Ruby character. Wait, well, not really. Well, now that came out bad. That, yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry, I'm not really good at this kind of crap. Anyways, as I was saying, I know I am exhausting. I literally just got done literally taking a freaking shower right now. And I'm trying to cool off right now. As I was saying. Jesus freaking Christ, I cannot get... Most of these update videos, right? Just what the hell? Now, I'm wondering, who is Dylan's new love interest? Or someone you know? It is... To believe it or not. Dylan's new love interest. Is Winter, aka Weiss's wife's sister. Yep, yep. And if you're wondering, how did Kingdom Hearts 3 come up with that idea, or what got him to come up with that, that idea? Funny story, he saw a lot of stupid and weird fan art of Ruby X Weiss, and both me and him are just like, what? Is there's no romantic intentions between these two. Why are they? Why are people making King fan art? That makes no sense. There's literally no proof of Ruby and White having romantic feelings for each other. Do we even? I don't even think Ruby I and mean, White has a love interest. Ruby is kind of there. And I know what you're gonna say, Oscar. Well, yeah, kind of. I support that shit. Because a lot of people hate it from some strange reason. So, he thought about the idea of why he's trying to get Ruby to be with her. And Max and Dylan, Max and Junior and Gray suggest that Dylan should be with Winter. Since Ruby is their stepmom, they come up with the idea that if Dylan dates Winter, then that means Weiss won't be able to to basically be with Ruby. Well, I mean, technically she will, she could, but but not if her sister has anything to say about it. Because for one, Winter is well, obviously a lot more experienced than she is. 
both in combat, and I think we've been teased about her having romantic feelings for someone. I can't remember who. I think it was definitely Crow, but most people don't think so because, well, the two almost the two of them almost killed each other. But yeah, anyways. So yeah, um, that's Dylan's new love interest. And I'm wondering when will she make her appearance? I believe in rather episode thirteen, fourteen or even episode 25. I don't know. That's all I have to say. So, yeah, say hello to Dylan's new love interest. Now, Back to, now, there's another thing I kind of want to, want to address here. And that is Cinder. Now, I know what you guys are going to be wondering, why is Cinder another, well, is Max's second love interest? Or how is or when will Cinder appear in the series? I have a little idea. Originally, I was going to be saving this for Super Godzilla Final Wars. The Man Kaiju King Season 2. But I figure why not tell you guys now. So Cinder and her team. Neo, Mercury, Hazel, and Emerald. They were originally working for Space Super Godzilla Final Wars. But he tried to kill them. And, as a result, Cinder only has one eye now. Well, in this little AU. So now, Cinder is searching for... After hearing that Space Super Godzilla Final Wars is alive... Well, yeah. She basically kind of goes on a little hunt. She tries to track him down. She's tracking him down. She wants revenge. For what he did to her. Not only that. He also made her lose an arm. Therefore she has a grim arm now. So. Yeah. Basically, Cinder is hunting Space Without the Final Wars to get revenge. But eventually she meets Max and he agrees to help her to get revenge. Because Cinder is kind of done being a villain, but she's trying to prove herself to no longer be a villain because, well... People are still calling her a villain and trying to capture her or kill her and her and of course her team. But unfortunately it's not wor- really working for being for the ones who are trying to kill them. So Max agrees to help Cinder and her team to get revenge. And so yeah. I know most of you guys will count that as a little spoiler, but I mostly sometimes explain a few new parts of the stories, like you can even ask Super Burning Godzilla or any of my other friends if you want to, and they'll explain the whole thing. And yet, and they're still kind of cool with it because they're just like, hmm, interesting, or ooh, that, that's actually kind of or or cool. Well, that's actually.
they're really cool. Yeah, especially Storm God's Ultima. He's most likely like that. Because, well, Super Burning God doesn't leave as much comic as much anymore, because back then he did. It was like Storm back in 2020. There was a lot of freaking comments. But now, now comments are now becoming extremely rare. You know, unless the Q&A series or an Ask and Dare series. But then again, with my gaming videos, you know, he is making a bunch of more comments now. Apparently my comments are, apparently my, not comments, apparently my gaming videos are getting his attention a lot more, so therefore he's making a lot more comments now. I don't know when he'll be back on making more comments. Hmm, who knows. So, yeah. Um, another thing I want, oh yeah. I also just saw the Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 3 trailer, and it was pretty good. Well, it's a little short show, it's nothing too big. Just a little short trailer, it's nothing too exciting or too big. So, I won't be doing like a reaction video to it, like what I did with, you know, like with uh, my my reaction to the new ARC animated series, and and now Space Cops Fireworks actually likes that series now. Well, he actually likes it, and I'm pretty sure he's now interested in watching it now. I'm not sure about Storm Ultimate, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him. But, yeah. Um, there are other few things that I want to update you guys on. 